my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brother, let us not pause and acknowledge our sin, so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I fail to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary and the Virgin, of all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the Passion of Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son, and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for my misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail, and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A response or a song. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am saved from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and I cried to him, reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works 
words from my father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good word, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Mass is here at the parish for today, April the 3rd, which is also the first Friday of the month. We pray for the souls of the deceased members of the Order of Mercy. We pray for the soul of Marak Akoya. We pray for the soul of Andrew Calabretta. Also, please take to note that this Sunday is Palm Sunday, and palms will be available for you to pick up through a drive through here on the parish grounds. There will be a few tents and tables outside. We kindly ask you to drive up on Sunday morning, anytime after 9 a.m., enter the parking lot from Fulton Road, and then you'll drive through and exit onto West 33rd. Also, it is an opportunity for you if you would like to bring your parish offerings and there will be safety boxes there for you to drop off your envelopes. It's hard to believe that a week from today is Good Friday. Holy Week is upon us. And in tradition of the church today, this Friday during Passion Tide, Friday before Good Friday, is known as Viernes de Dolores, the Friday of Sorrows. Specifically, Friday dedicated to Our Lady of Sorrows. It's an ancient tradition in the Church, and in 1727, it was Pope Benedict XIII who actually established it as a, a, a memorial or a feast, and that continued it through the centuries until 1969 with the reform of the liturgy after the Vatican Council, and then it became just a, a tradition. But that tradition continues in many countries throughout the world. Portugal, Malta, Spain, Nicaragua, Mexico, the Latin America, the Philippines. And today there will be even processions and, and great devotions in honor of Our Lady of Sorrows. So I think it's an opportune moment for us on this Friday before, Good Friday, to dedicate our, our time of prayer to Our Lady of Sorrows, that she accompany us as we enter into Holy Week, that she continue to intercede for us in this time of sorrows with our battle with the, the pandemic, but also that we can grow an imitation of her, her perseverance, her devotion, and her faith.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, our good, all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father Almighty, and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy, be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who fall asleep with the hope of the resurrection, and all who die in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, conformed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, O Lord, pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, to so wait the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Be gracious and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, dear Spirit. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection. 
protection and the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. And may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Our prayer to St. Rocco. O blessed St. Rocco, patron of the sick, have pity on those who lie upon a bed of suffering. Your power was so great when you were in this world that by the sign of the cross many were healed of their diseases. Now that you are in heaven, your power is not less. Offer them to God our signs and tears and obtain for us that help we seek through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Rocco, pray for us that we may be preserved from all diseases of body and soul. St. Rocco, pray for us that we may be preserved from all diseases of body and soul. St. Rocco, pray for us that we may be preserved from all diseases of 